I, I'd say about three pound. Three pound, five pound. Three to four, three to five pounds. Three and three seventy-five. I think that'd be a fair amount. I don't know, around about two pound fifty or something. Yeah, it's got to be more than three pounds for people to afford it. Um, I think it's around three pound for um. £2.35. £2.35, really? £2.35. Mm -hmm. £2. No. No. I don't think that's enough at yeah, all. below both our estimates. Yeah, I don't think it's enough for that's both. Enough. That's no. below a meal deal anywhere. Definitely not, no. Because no. you can't get enough for the meals that you're getting. You can't get enough, um, especially for the water and things. It's only like a little garden. Say you want to drink at break and then you want food at lunch, it's not going to be enough for well, I don't both. think that's enough. So what would you say is more acceptable? What would you say is a minimum? At least £3.50. Um, I don't think it's enough for you, so I think you should have um, at least £3. If you don't have enough, you'll be asking your friends to buy you stuff and they might not have them enough, so it will be a bit complicated. Take the food away, and um, you have to buy something cheaper, or if you can't afford anything, they just take it off you. It's a tiny bit depressing. <laughs> so then you just have to go and get something else that you have enough for. But sometimes if you only say 50p off, they'll write it down, and then next time you go, they'll take that off, which could affect what you have for lunch next time. I think It'd just be like a bit embarrassing because you can't afford this or that when everybody else has it. And I just think it'd be embarrassing. Because um, maybe your parents can't pay for them. And then if you're telling your friends that, um, you might get embarrassed about it because they don't have free school meals and they pay for them. It's because people don't want all their friends thinking mm. that they don't have enough money or anything like that. Um, send your friends to get loads of food and everything, then you can't get as much. And EMA is a privilege. You hear people in your oh, I've got EMA, yeah, I'm getting 30 quid a week. Um, whereas with free school meals, you never hear anyone say, oh, you know, I don't have to pay. Where with EMA, it's, it's more seen as, oh, you get 30 pounds to go to school. Yeah, it's seen as like a benefit, whereas a lot of people view it Free school meals is, you know, kind of a negative thing. I think you apply for educational maintenance allowance and it's an option, it's a choice, but free school meals is a last resort. The, all the junk food and things is like much cheaper, mm -hmm. so Absolutely. you can get more things, but whereas if you get all the healthy stuff, it costs loads whatever you want. The only thing you can really get is from my meal and usually that's not very healthy. The healthier it is, the more expensive it is. A salad box would be like £1.35 and things. And then when you add all like your drink and things with it, it just goes over the limit most of the time. You're, you're, you're pushed towards sort of, you know, going for a cheap option, especially with parents and things. You go, you know, we put £15 on your dinner money or whatever, and you've spent this because it's maybe a healthier option than a pizza, which is a quid or something. It's, it's always sort of front and centre where it's displayed, and it's not, um, they don't really show the healthy stuff. I think it's kind of a mixed responsibility for the head teacher of the school and the government put together. Well, I think it's the school because we all go here and we're meant to be a community and help each other. Yet if someone can't even um, get the right diet and the school's failing to do that, I don't think it's a good start. I think the responsibility lies with a bit of everyone, really. It's not just the school, you know, the government needs to do something to make sure that you know, everything will run down from the top. Yeah. The school can only do so much with restrictions on allowances and what's... Because at the end of the day, they're the people who decide what's going to happen and with the money. If the government allowed more money uh, for food, then you would be able to eat healthier and have more money on your finger if you needed help. And why don't they have the same allowance as somebody that pays using their own money? Yeah. I think it is also um, like parents as well, because if 
that your parents don't tell um, anybody that you can't get enough food and then nobody can help you in school but if you don't tell the teachers then the teachers can't help you either. The people who do have more to spend, do have more to choose from and they have, um, they can get more. Make it more of a privilege than something to be embarrassed about. And that's what it should be, it should be something that you, you know, just like EMO, it should be something that you feel quite happy about getting and open to talk about. As well, like the portion sizes. Um, so yeah, maybe like up in the, the allowance, the free school meal allowance would help that a name change to get rid of any connotations with the word cheap and free. I, I'd say to the government to make sure that all children have the same amount of food, um, no matter like what their backgrounds are, where they come from, um, like what school they go to, their behaviour or anything, make sure that all youth has the same amount of food and has enough. Thanks for watching this Fixers film. If you'd like to see more films like this one, click the links to the right. Make sure to subscribe and let us know what you thought in the comments below. Thanks for watching.